Hi folks, this is Karen Lee Thompson at artsimaginarium.com. I'm here to show you the completion of the first arch in my Penny Art Mosaic arch project. I have a three arches uh, planned in total. And <clears throat> I wanted to show you the inspiration behind these arches, how they came about, the materials that I used, why I used the materials, the design concepts that I used, and the design of them. And then I wanted to pass all this information on to you and give you some links to some resources in order for you to turn your craft into some longer term art projects that you'd have a lot of fun with around your house. We bought this little 1950s home and it's Mediterranean style and I've had so much fun with painting it and creating in it, but I've never been happy with these square entrances. I've always felt like it really should have arches. I fell in love with arches back in college, such as these boldly designed Moorish arches. Felt like the beautiful perimeters of these doors alluded to the mystery behind them, showed you room to room to room in a rhythmic way, and alluded to the mystery of the garden back behind so them. So I took on creating arches for our own doorways. The frames came together nicely. I decided on pennies because pennies are much a less expensive than copper tiles. Here you can see the grout starts to pop the pennies and the glass out. As I put them into the entranceways, I found that they didn't really relate to the walls and I needed to add some architectural design around. Today we have a couple of things going in the house. One is, is I decided two lines of pennies are not enough to finish that element off. It doesn't give the architectural look that I was hoping for. So my sweet husband is outside dapping many more pennies. Well, really not that many compared to how many we've done already, only 250. And these walls are already ready to apply the pennies. This is a sample of the tile that we bought it's actually sheet glass from Bullseye up in Portland. And I've been cutting it to size. So I broke one and had this really happy accident. It gave me the opportunity to arm and put that little marble in there in line with all of the other pennies. And I think it's a really fun detail. And I think I want to carry that throughout the rest of the tiles. We've decided lines works better with the pennies than the one tile. So that's the decision on these guys. And here you see we finally finished dapping pennies, cutting tiles, and put them on the walls. And it's ready for grout. I love grouting. It always finishes it off, as you can see here. The iridescence is, is picking up the sunshine from outside. and. The candles are flickering on the copper the way that I had hoped it would, and it provides a beautiful arch and welcoming entrance into our little home. As you can see in the background, I have another arch that's ready to have some work done around it, and I'll give you tutorials as I go on how to cut your tile, set your tile, and have some nice clean lines so that you'll have a professional outcome that you really enjoy please visit me on patreon.com and my YouTube channel for regular updates and for regular tutorials. I'm looking forward to seeing you more in the future. Thanks for sharing your time with me so I can share my time with you. Take care. Bye-bye.